What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do? And I asked on Twitter if people would like to see a video on Greenify, which is an Android app that makes it towards apps don't run 24 seven in the background, apps that you installed maybe cause you wanted to play a game, but then you left it installed, you didn't uninstall it, and you didn't realize that that app was running constant, nonstop, the moment you turned your phone on to the moment it died. And also those apps, not only are they running, hogging up your CPU and everything, but they're also taking up RAM and slowing your phone down. And I wanted to show you how it works on an unrooted device. I got the Moto G a few days ago, and I will be rooting it um, tomorrow. Uh, I was going to do it today, but I did my review of the Moto G. That's currently going to be uploading very soon. So we're going to go to the Play Store. And we're going to search for this app called Greenify right there. There is a free version available and there is a pro version, which is a donation package. Uh, I highly recommend it because a lot of times, like my dad was like, my battery life on my S4 is sucking. And pretty much all of my family members have rooted phones because <laughs> you don't come in my house with an unrooted Android device. You just don't. <laughs> so, um... This thing will be rooted tomorrow or later today. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, so Greenify, we're going to go ahead and install it. If you've already purchased it, then if you have a Nexus 5, if you have a Note 3, if you have any other Android devices and you use the same Google account, every device will let you download that app that you paid for. So I bought it, for example, on my Note 3. I can go ahead and download it on my Moto G. So just think about it. You pay $3 for an app. That app is permanently yours forever. Um, you can install it on as many devices as you want. And I highly recommend purchasing it. So we're going to go to the free version right there. It says root. Don't worry. They have figured out how to get it working without root. I'm going to demo that by opening up Greenify. It says thank you for your donation. Um, you can now enable the experiential features from the menu. It says Greenify will raise the voice of the community to be heard by the developers of your Greenified apps for better recognition of device experience in app development. To raise your voice, Greenify collects anonymous data without privacy information. You can opt out at any time. So this is what's pending. This has been what's hibernated. Now I used this app earlier, but I will basically demo how it works. So if we click on experimental features, you can see that we need the exposed installer. We cannot install this because this device is not rooted. So we're gonna go ahead and back out. And in here is the stuff that says unable until enabled in exposed. It says unavailable until enabled in exposed, unavailable, only available in donation package. So some of these are not gonna be available until you root your phone and you install the exposed framework. So when you first do it, you're gonna to need to press this little plus button right here. And then you go through your apps and you choose what you wanna greenify. Now I'm not gonna go through like the full details of everything. If you want to see a more in-depth video on greenify, I'll link to my video on how greenify works with a rooted device. Basically without root, it's limited and it's a little bit more time consuming and annoying. So having root access, it all works behind the scenes without you doing anything. So for example, in Tutu, I'm gonna go ahead, it says never green to find an alarm clock, instant messaging, or widget enabled app unless you do not rely on them. Uh, hide selected apps, so if there's an app in there that you're never gonna hibernate, you can hide it if you want to. So Mixbit, Twitter, I'm gonna open up that manually uh, budget, but uh, I have, the, I'll keep that on there. Dropbox. Uh, I want that to sync my pictures, uh, timely. It's an alarm clock app. You can click show more apps and you can go through here and you can check the ones that, you know, you're going to go into your app drawer and you're going to in manually play those games. So I have a widget for that. I want that to pop up to let me know that, um, there's a new survey I can do to get some free Google play credit, uh, GPS test plus GTA, Helium, Hill Climb Racing. I want Instagram to notify me of stuff. Mixbit. I'm going to open up that. 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 <laughs> um, Twitter, Speed Test, 
that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little checkbox up here. And it's gonna say the app was greenified successfully. This is saying that you need to make, this is the part that is annoying if you don't have root. If you don't have root, you've gotta go click four stop and then hit okay. So I'll show you, four stop, okay. If I bring up the next app that's currently running right now, you'll four stop it, press okay. Four stop, press okay. Four stop, press okay. Four stop, press okay. Four stop. Press OK. Four stop. Press OK. Congratulations, you have uh, successfully greenified Helium Premium. It will never drain your battery or consume precious memory when you're not actively using them. So they are on your phone right now, but they're not being used. This app, I don't want that greenified. So I can go ahead and press this uh, degreenify selected app. I want Falcon Pro to notify me of new mentions and stuff on Twitter. So also you want to click it, uh, create hibernation shortcut. A shortcut is created in your launcher for one click hibernation. That's going to be the easiest way to do this. So now when we go to the home screen, you'll see, um, we can delete that. It's not installed anymore. We can go to the widget here, hibernate now. And when we press on it, it says this app opened up. We can force stop it, press okay. Now, like if we open up that, we open up that if we open up um something else like well i don't want to put package buddy because i'm tracking packages but uh there's the camera so now if we go to hibernate now those apps that we just opened up are running so we need to go in here and we need to force stop them all now they're not running now those apps will not be able to take up precious memory and cpu resources and battery life and your phone, your battery will last longer. I've had this app on my phone for a day or two now, and my battery life is always at 30 to 40% on the Moto G before I go to bed. So let's open up Quick Pick and show you that real quick. So I got 12 hours, 40 minutes, 36% left. I had two hours and 13 minutes of screen on time. And before that, the night before, I had 16 hours, five minutes, and I had 28% with one hour, 46 minutes of screen on time. So instead of just um, re doing that, you're like, okay, so I close that quick pick. Nope. Press the hibernate now, four stop, okay. Now, and also you'll see that it's kind of like grayed out a little bit. There's nothing to hibernate. If we open up that, it changes, I believe. So there you have it. That's how to use Greenify on an unrooted Android device. It's not nearly as convenient as having root and a lot of the features won't work because you can't install the exposed framework. But as far as saving battery life, you can still do that with Greenify on an unrooted device. This device will be rooted in the next 24 hours. I can promise you that. And I'm gonna make a video on how to root this thing and I'm gonna install Greenify and I'm gonna be able to use all of the features and it's gonna auto hibernate and I'm not gonna to have to manually do anything at all. The app's gonna take care of all of it for me without every time I open up something, pressing the little thing and okay, it's no apps need to hibernate. And if they are running, with root, if you press that little thing, it'll auto hibernate all of them. You don't have to sit there and go, four stop, okay, four stop, okay, four stop, okay. <laughs> so Greenify is an amazing app that will save you a ton of battery life on your Android device. And I highly recommend purchasing the donation package. And then whenever you get up the courage to finally take the plunge and root your device, there's not a single Android device in my home that's not rooted except for this guy. And that's only because I had just did my review today and I needed to do that review and I didn't want to root it. And then someone says, oh, it's doing better because you rooted it. And also when you unlock the bootloader to root it, you completely erase your phone. So if you want to root your phone, I recommend doing it as soon as possible because when you unlock the bootloader on most devices, it factory resets the phone. And after you unlock one time and you root, you're able to back up and restore your apps with Titanium Backup. And you're able to use apps like Greenify. So I strongly encourage you to do research, find out if rooting your device is worth it to you, if it's worth it to you to know that you can back up uh, Angry Birds, Hill Climb Racing, or your 
super high score and flappy bird and restore it to another phone or even a tablet or any other Android device like the Nvidia Shield, as long as it's rooted, you can back up and restore them between each other. Uh, you can enable Wi-Fi tether without your carrier knowing that you're tethering. Like on T-Mobile, uh, I have unlimited data, but I only have 2.5 gigs of tethering. If I use Wi-Fi tether router or Wi-Fi tether for root users, uh, it's being sent as mobile data, and the carrier doesn't know that it's going to a laptop. So. I highly recommend rooting. Most devices you void your warranty. Most of the time there's a way to unroot your phone and get your warranty back. Um, Samsung devices, no. Once you root them, it's gonna permanently forever say that you voided your warranty. On HTC devices, uh, when you unlock your bootloader, you're permanently voiding your warranty. Now if you obtain S off and you change your bootloader stack to locked, they don't know you ever unlocked it. So then your warranty is fine. So just keep that in mind. Do some research, find out if rooting is worth it or not, and I have videos on how to root a ton of devices, and there's going to be a video on how to root the Moto G very soon on this channel, youtube.com slash www.joshdew. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. It's just a little click, but trust me, it goes a long way. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I've got many more videos coming. I've got some really cool accessories like a flash drive that plugs directly into your phone without any adapters, that's coming today. I've got a ton of videos in store for 2014 and I'm getting a 4K camera and my videos will be the highest quality possible. So please subscribe, please give this video a thumbs up, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All links will be in the description below, including links to the app and a link to my video on how Greenify works if you decide to take the plunge and root your device. In the description, this is gonna be a little thing that says show more. Please click that. You'll be able to expand the description and see all the links. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.